if we let one celebrity or one influencer go early, it doesn't hurt the rest of our customers. No, I got a problem with that. Whole problem. Why? Because I've been here an hour. But, hold on. I've been here an hour and an hour and a half. I'm hungry too. So you, unless Beyonce and me are going to sit in the same booth together and eat, uh, back of the line is that way. The opinions expressed in our content is for entertainment purposes only. We do not assume liability or endorse any of the third party content used in our materials. Okay. What's up, what's up, what's up, and welcome back to my, my two cents. I am Miss O and she is Charisma. And today we are discussing Candy Birth and Keith Lee Restaurant Wars. Let's talk about it, y'all. So we watched a little video of Candy. Talking about Keith, uh, who recently visited her restaurant. He was not happy with how things went down. So Candy wants us and Keith to understand that favoritism is okay when it works in her favor. I think people need to understand that Keith Lee, I'm a fan of his page too, I watch, right? right? And we know that he can help make or break a restaurant. And right now, it's like a time where all the restaurants aren't doing that great, right? right? So anybody would want him to be there. And I just feel like at the end of the day, well, first of all, I didn't tell her to show him no favoritism because I like you. I know that he doesn't like that. I think he needs to understand that people want to show him love. And it's not that we don't love, love our customers, but if we let one celebrity or one influencer go early, it doesn't hurt the rest of our customers because he's taking pictures, he's doing right. stuff and a lot of them are happy that he's there. But if he doesn't eat at our restaurant, it does hurt us because all the business they had, they had the opportunity to show them how great they was and they had lines wrapped around the building. Now, I got a problem with that. Whole problem <laughs> with that. <laughs> okay, because I'm not a cloud chaser. Mm -hmm. I'm not a D-rider. Uh, I'm not a starstruck type of person. So when I see a celebrity, I'm not, oh my God, it's so and so. Get in front of me. Oh, what do you need? Oh, can I have your autograph? That's not me. The most I would do is a, a picture. Okay. And that's on a sneak. It's one of them, you know, everybody else doing, you know, let me get a picture too. So that, that's me. So my thing is, if I'm in line for an hour, hour and a half, and say, celebrity or Keith, some influencer, strolls in. Mm -hmm. And they stroll past the line up to the front. Mm -hmm. the, the little waitress grabs a menu and starts to walk in the way. I'm that person. Oh, oh wait up. Whoa, 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 whoa. What we doing? What we doing? I, I've been here. Why? Because I've been here an hour. But, hold on. I've been here an hour and an hour and a half. I'm hungry too. But so unless Beyonce and me are going to sit in the same booth together and eat, uh, back of the line is that way. See, I used to be a host, so I know how back to set, line I that know way. how to set up goals. Because people will do that and not understand that it's a thing called reservations. If someone reserves a spot, they will come up to the line and they'll get a seat. But this before I'm just saying, saying no, else. that's of course that's not what happened here. But people do that all the time. You're you're not the only one that does that. Oh, I've been waiting. Blah, blah, blah. This person reserved a spot. What's it called? Open table. It's the app now that people use, and that restaurants use. Seat them, reserve a spot, and don't have to come in. They can just walk in, go to the front, and get seated. But that's not, not what's happening here. What's mm -hmm. happening here is favoritism. Like mm -hmm. Candy, Candy is trying to explain that it's okay for a celebrity or an influencer to skip the line because their opinion matters more mm -hmm. than mine. And I'm here to tell you, no, it don't. Because Candy is putting too much weight in. Uh, the celebrity or the influencer's opinion. Uh, she said they can make or break a restaurant. But that's true. They can bring. But here's the thing too: an average person can do the same. I can make or break that restaurant as well. Uh, let's be real. I can act the fool, and we can both end up on the internet or on the news because I'm I'm getting treated different. 
But let's no, be realistic no, here. No. Uh, one thing, like I said, let's be realistic. Nine out of ten, if a celebrity comes up to a person and asks, oh, you mind if I get in front of you? Mind? A person goes, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. They have that. It's a celebrity. It's a thing called starstruck just because you might not be strong for the average person. Okay, well, long as long as I'm not alive, we're good. The average person is will usually, nine out of ten, is starstruck when they see certain people. So they allow certain things to happen. It's just part of the so the you industry, would, the territory. So you would, so if you were standing in line for an hour and a half, mm. and a celebrity like, like you say, Beyonce strolls up there and takes cuts, are you cool with that? Or you would let, okay, go ahead. She ain't had no reservation. She here with her entourage of twenty people. Go ahead, even though I've been sitting here for twenty minutes. Man, Nine I out of ten. For an hour. I, I like realistic situations here, man. Beyonce ain't coming into no establishment. Not the ten she's gonna rent out the whole establishment for her. And her. So that's not what I'm, I'm asking. But I'm asking if. She does. If she did, nine out of ten, the whole store, the majority of everybody is going to be starstruck because Beyonce is not just a regular celebrity. They're going to be two days and oohs and ahs. Oh my gosh, it's Beyonce, it's Beyonce to realize, hey, she cut in front of me. I would. <laughs> no, I would believe that. I was there. I, no, no, no. I would believe that. I was there for an hour, hour and a half waiting to be to eat, and I'm hungry <laughs> and I'm ready to eat, and somebody comes in with an entourage. And I know on Saturdays they don't do reservations or whatnot. So this person had to, to skip the line or whatnot. Or like you said, if you got that kind of money where you can rent it out, then the place should be closed. I shouldn't be standing here line. <laughs> I have to be someplace else sitting down eating because you can rent the place, rent out the bed. Food is good, all prices. Whatever. So my like I said, when it comes to uh showing favoritism because your bank account is bigger than mine, or your followers are bigger than mine, I'm not with that. I understand. I, I know that at all. Because I'm like I said, at the end of the day, we are all people. And I want to be treated fair and I want to be treated equal. Unfortunately, I understand. Morally, it is wrong. But realistically, it happens. People pay. Yeah, but see, people yeah. like you perpetuate that, keep that going. I'm saying, okay, no, no, no. We can say, hey, Beyonce, what's up, girl? Can I get a pic? Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, if I can lie that way, I'm next. Ain't nobody doing that to Beyonce. I know. Ain't nobody doing that to Beyonce. All right, well, can we can we sit together? That's what we sit together. Like that. <laughs> it's so well, like Beyonce. Beyonce, <laughs> Beyonce is on a big scale, but I'm saying like the guy here, uh, Keith Lee, who I don't know who the hell he is up until now. But my thing is this. Mm -hmm. Once again, now I'm, I'm like, like, hey, whoa, 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 wait a minute, Keith, what, 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 what we doing? Like I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Let's be realistic reviews here. Okay. No one's doing that Keith. to Beyonce. Keith, I'm I just can't use using the name. I'm just saying. You can't use any name. Oh, that's what I'm saying. She's a different scale. She's top of the top. She's Beyonce. They call it Beyonce Internet. They don't even say the internet. Okay. But anyway. So, Keith. Keith. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> now that it's Keith. Yeah. He can't skip the line, but Beyonce can't. Like, what you can't say. It's celebrity. Like he's an influencer. He's just a, a online influencer. But a Beyonce is national worldwide. I'm saying the A-listers ain't nobody bumping them to the side. Everybody is an ooh and to eye. Candy, Keith is at that status where she's bumping people out of because the way for him because of his profession. I don't care. Like I said, I know. Of course, you don't care. But like I said, this is her business as a restaurant. Do if you get in the business state of mind about it. He can make or break my review. He can either have people coming or not coming. Yeah, one but person, like I said, you got to understand. Can can, same yeah, but that ain't stopping candy. No. no, it ain't stopping candy restaurant. Like I said, we heard about the shooting last year and stuff like that. Guess what? People still coming. She's still packing all types of stuff. This is a dude that people are watching online. Like I said, everybody who's online and social media, you know how big people are looking at food reviews to know where they want to go out of state and all stuff like that. So it makes and breaks. A restaurant, and like she said, it's a hard time for a restaurant. You know, we're about to go possibly go into a recession. So everything yeah, matters. Though. Everything counts. I think he needs to understand that people want to show him love, and it's not that we don't love love our customers, but if we let one celebrity or one influencer go early, it doesn't hurt the rest of our customers because he's taking pictures. Yeah, but this is not looking good because Candy, what you just told me and the world is that certain people are more important than your regular customers. Now, that's a, that's what you told me. You told me that this man, oh, he gets to take precedence over me, even though, like, say, I'm a patron. I patronize your restaurant, say, three or four times out of the month. This man's going to come once a year. You should treat, and bring what? You should treat me better than you treat him. 
Think about it. He comes once a year, and how many clients is he going to bring in off of his review? He might not bring give one little flux of customers when they see that first that review, up. and then once it may again, or may not happen Keith again. He is a few a food review. He reviews restaurants. Mm-hmm. So his opinion matters. He's a critic to her thing. Like I said, you come three or four times, which is just like she said, she appreciates that. But you're not clearly not enough. <laughs> you're not doing what he can do. You're not bringing in what he can bring. Yes, you say you he, come. No, no, no. He's listen, you in came possibilities. In. I'm bringing in you definitely. I'm definitely there. No, <laughs> I'm definitely there. Uh, uh, no, <laughs> that's, that's not. I, I believe the saying is a bird in the hand beats two in the bush. Okay, I'm in your hand. Like and him coming bush. brought more than your three times. Now, I, I don't know about according to his review. The review that just went down here and bringing you a damn thing. Right, that's why she has to sit there and do what she's doing. She has to but press think, it. But I think out. if she would just, 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 just let it slide. Just don't talk about it. Don't think about it. Move on and maybe give more gratitude to your customers. Then we would just come. Period. You know, give us, give us, <laughs> give us customers praise. And all, you know, offer something to you know one thousand customer. Get this. You know, this, that, and the other. We can. You can. You can you can celebrate us the way you celebrate celebrities, and if you can still get that clientele, the 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 thought that one person holds enough weight to shut you down is to me is ridiculous. You giving Mom, one person too much power. The power, the power is of, in the people. No, the power of one person. person. The influence. That's the thing. Influence means a lot. Yes. Well, well I can one influence person, just like but you that's can not, influence. But that's not what you're doing. This is what he do. Like I said, it sounds good, but he's an actual influencer for her business. So one person with thousands of followers compared to one person with <laughs> two hundred <laughs> followers does not. <laughs> <have to tell. laughs> I'm gonna say hypothetically. Does not. Oh, you have a I'm gonna you to hype my uh, okay. up a little more in. <laughs> don't compete where you don't compare. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> You want to hype me up as much more than a damn follower. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. So, you don't compete where it don't compare. It's just a business move. You understand? I understand business. I understand business all day, but I also okay. understand the importance of, of your, your regular everyday customers. I understand that customers can close you down just like a celebrity can close you down. What I'm saying is they both hold value. They both hold weight. That's not what she's not put, saying. She's no, saying she, one holds more weight. But, but it's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is when you make it obvious to the customers that somebody else holds more weight than you, then that backfires. Okay. That's, that's what I'm saying. And her, when, the way she, she worded her conversation when she was talking about it, to me, was a slap in the face to the regular customers. The way she said it. That's what I'm saying. For that, she could have just kept it quiet. The way you said it. The way you handled that, no. That, and I think, too, that's why, too, she's getting some flack on social media. So, you know, I'm in, I'm just as important as Keith Lee. Y'all stop being sensitive. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Candy and I'm about to speak on it. No, I'm joking. I'm not about to speak on it. I really just wanted to say I do appreciate Keith Lee for stopping by our restaurant and trying to show us love. It is very unfortunate that we couldn't serve him and his family. We have We would have loved to, okay? What do you think? Let us know. Drop your... Who said below? See ya. Hey, y'all. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're messing with the vibe. See ya.